Good morning, my friend. Good morning, my classes. Good morning, grade six. How are you today? I hope you enjoy our lesson. Okay. We will complete today our lesson, the solution of equation. The solution of equation. Our essential question is would be that, how do you determine if you have the two numbers or two expression are equal? Again, how we can determine. How we can determine what? If we have two numbers, two numbers, okay? Or two expressions are equal. We need to know how we can deal with that. So this one is would be deal with the two numbers or two expressions. Look with me to the next slide, please. We need to learn what today? What we need to learn today? We need to learn that the division of equation, how we can solve it. To solve the division of equation by using models or by using multiplication property of equality. Again, by using what? The division equation, I need to solve it by model method or by using the multiplication property of a of equality. So what we will do in this case, look with me to the new slide. It will be talking about the new vocabulary in this lesson. The new vocabulary of this lesson is will be what? It will be multiplication property of equality. The multiplication property of equality. Okay? Look with me to the next example, please. He gives me what? He gives me by the number three is equal to three. All of us know that. We have three is equal to three. So if I will multiply the both sides by six, if I will multiply the both sides here by six, so if you multiply the both sides, the left-hand side and right-hand side, by any number except zero, because he can multiply the both sides by the same number, but the value doesn't change. So I will multiply the left-hand side and the right-hand side, I will multiply them the both by six. So three by six and three by six, the left and the right hand side. So the concept here said that if you multiply the both sides by six, the value doesn't change. Another example, if I have here two is equal to two and I will multiply the both of them by five, multiply the left by five and multiply the right by five. So multiply the both sides by five, two by five equal 10 and two by five is equal 10. So the both of them are what? The both of them are equal because I have 10 is equal to 10. So the both of them are equal. Okay? If I have the example by this way, my friend now, I have x over 4, x divided by 4 is equal to 7. So x over 4 equals 7, it equals 7, I need to cancel this 4. What will make in this case? If you need to cancel this 4, I will multiply the left hand side by 4 and the right hand side multiply by 4. So we will multiply the both sides. I will multiply the both sides here by 4. If I will multiply the both sides here by 4, this 4 cancel this 4. Okay? This 4 cancel with this 4. So I will multiply by 4 to cancel this 4. So this 4 can make cancellation with this 4. So I will multiply 7 by 4 here. 7 by 4 makes what? 7 by 4 here, it will be made that the result is equal to 28. So the result here is equal to 28. If I need to check my answer, what will make? I will substitution about x by 28. I will make substitution about x by 28. 28 divided by 4 is equal what? 24 divided by 28 divided by 4, it will be equal 7. So I check my answer and my answer is will be wrong. Uh, it should be right. If you check that and you have the answer is wrong, you must make the steps from the start. If I have another example, look with me, please, carefully. I have x over 2 is equal to 5. x over 2 is equal to 5. How I can solve this? Okay? If I need to solve this example, so we will make what? I will multiply the both sides here by 2. Why by 2? Because I need to cancel this number. So we'll cancel these two out by multiplying the left-hand side by 2 and the right-hand side by 2. So we will multiply the both sides of the equation by 2. Multiply the both of them by 2. This cancel with this. So x series will be equal what? 
we will make cancellation between 2 and 2. So the value here, x is equal to 2 by 5. 2 by 5 here is equal what? 2 by 5, x series will be equal to 10. So we'll multiply the both sides by 2. So here we add that. 5 multiplied by 2. 5 multiplied by 2 is equal 10. So the answer here is x equal 10. If I need to check my answer, what will make? I will remove x here and put 10. So 10 divided by 2 is equal what? 10 divided by 2 is equal what? It will be equal to 5. 10 divided by 2 is equal what? It will be equal 5. So I check my answer, and my answer now is right. If you check your answer, you find your answer is wrong, you must repeat the steps again. Another example. If I have x over 3 equal to 6, x over 3 is equal to 6. I need to solve that. OK? What will make in this case? Look with me carefully. We will multiply the both sides. We will multiply the left-hand side and the right-hand side by 3. We will multiply the both side by 3. Why by 3? Because I have the down number here is 3. So we will remove this with that. We will remove the two numbers together. So I have here x is alone because I remove 3 with 3. We will remove 3 with 3. So a 3 cancel with 3. You have x series will be alone. It will be isolated. Now, x is alone. So I have the reason is x by 3. The result is a, a, 6 by 3. 6 by 3 here is, will be equal what? 6 series will be by 3 is equal 18. So the answer of x series will be equal 18. I need to check my answer. So we will make what? I will put 18 divided by 3. I will make substitution about x. Remove x and put 18. Remove x and put 18. 18 divided by 3 is equal what in this case? It will be equal 6. So the answer in this case is will be equal 6. And this one is will be the right answer. OK? Look with me to the next slide now. If he gives me example by this way, he gives me what? I need to read the question. I have a over 3. I have a over 3. Is equal what? I have a over 3. Is equal. a over 3 is equal to 7. So I will imagine I have a model. I will use a model. Okay, this model, I will divide it into three parts. One, two, three. I will divide it, this A into three parts. One, two, three. Okay? And the value of each one of them is, will be what? Seven. The value of each one of them is, will be equal seven. So I need to find the reason. What will make? If you need the reason, you will multiply three by seven. Okay? You will multiply three by seven. So the reason is equal what? It's equal 21. So if you have that A, and you will divide it A into three equal parts. You will divide it A into three equal parts. Three equal parts. Each one is, will be equal seven. Each one is equal seven. Like you have a piece of food, and you will divide this board into three equal parts. Each one is equal seven. So the result of that is, will be three by seven. So the value of A is equal seven by three or three by seven because the multiplication is commutative. So this one is, will be equal 21. The second one, the second, second method, how I can solve that by the samples. We will use the sample. So firstly, I will write the equation. The first step, you will write the equation. Here, because we have this, the down number, the down number is three. So I will multiply the both sides, the left-hand side and the right-hand side. I will multiply the both of them by 3. So you will multiply the both sides by 3. Multiply the left-hand side and the right-hand side. The both of them multiply by 3. So 3 here is, will be cancelled with this 3. We will make cancellation. We will make cancellation for what? I will make cancellation for 3 with 3. So we will cancel this 3 with this 3. So I have now 7 by 3 the reason. The result is 7 by 3 because I multiplied the, result, the both sides by 3. So 7 by 3, the value of A is equal to 21. If I need to check my answer, I need to be sure my answer is right. Make this step in each problem. Why I do this one? This one, it's necessary to know I am right or wrong. So the step of the check of my answer, it will be necessary for you to check your answer is would be right or wrong. After that, I will remove A and I will put 21. I will remove A and put 21. So if I will substitution, 
make substitution about a by 21 by this number 21 like here so 21 divided by 3 is equal to 7 so the answer here is will be 7 so again we will replace a okay or we will make blood into a 21 blood into a i will make 21 blood into a or make substitution we call it by substitution the all is will be the same step okay the next problem said what look with me look with me to the next problem he said that i have b over seven is equal to five b over seven is equal to five what will make in this case look with me we will make b we will make b b over what b over seven b divided by seven is equal to five b over seven is equal to five we will multiply the both sides here and there i will multiply the both of them by seven so we will multiply the both side by seven why because i need to cancel this seven with this seven so i have here b alone b is equal what five times seven b here is equal five by seven five by seven is equal what b here is equal 35 so the result as the answer the result is will be 35 again what we do because i have the down number here is seven the down number here is seven so i will multiply the left hand side and the right hand side by seven this seven cancel with this seven we will make cancellation between the both seven we will cancel this seven with this seven so b here is alone is equal what five by seven five by seven i will multiply them together it gives me 35. if i need to check my answer i need to check my answer what will make b over five is equal to what it will be equal remove b and put its value so i will remove b and make substitution i will plug 35 in the position of b so 35 divided by 5 the result now is will be what seven but here he write that he write this look with me i will divide it here by seven don't forget i will divide it by seven so if you will divide it by seven don't do the opposite what will make in this case look with me my friend we will make that b divided by seven it will be equal what it will be equal five so i will divide it by five or i can divide it by seven and the both are the same but we will divide it by seven and this shape another example look with me okay read with me this example carefully the weight of the object on the moon is will be what is one sixth okay that is the weight on the earth so the weight of the moon is will be that the weight of the moon is will be equal one over six from the weight of the earth for an example if i will imagine that i will imagine the weight of muhammad al anazi for an example on the earth the weight of Muhammad al anas on the earth is will be equal 60. So the weight of him on the moon is will be what? On the moon. You have the weight, it will be divided by six. So the weight of Muhammad al anas he is the same person. He doesn't change. But I will divide it 60 over six. So 60 divided by six equal what? It will be equal 10. So the weight on the earth, if it will be equal, 60 if i go to the moon it will be equal 10 why because i will divide it by six for an example if i imagine the weight of the toy it will be equal 12 kilogram when i go to the moon the toy is will be what the bone for an example if the weight of the bone is will be 12 kilogram for an example on the earth if i go to the moon i will divide it by six so 12 divided by six it will be equal two so every time you go to the moon to measure your weight, you must divide it by six. Why? Because we know that the weight of any object on the moon is will be one sixth that the weight on the earth. It will be one sixth. This one is will be one sixth on the earth. 
So if the weight on the moon is would be 35, where is the weight? The weight here is would be 35 on the moon. The weight on the moon is would be 35. Okay? The weight on the moon is 35. What is the weight on the earth? So the word, the weight on the of any object on the earth is will be divided by six, it gives me the weight on the moon. If you need that, the weight on the moon, you divide the weight by six. So if I will do that by the equation, how I cancel that? I will make W divided by six equal 35. I will make it by this shape, the weight on the earth. This is the weight on the earth. Divided by six is equal 35. So the weight on the earth is will be divided by six is equal 35. Multiply the both sides here by six. I will multiply the both sides here by six. Okay, if I multiply the both sides here by six, so the left hand side and the right hand side multiply by six. What we will do in this case, this six and this six are canceled together. So the both numbers, six and six, up and down, is will be canceled together. So I have 35 multiplied by six. If you multiply 35 by six, so the result here is equal to 110. The result is six by 35 is equal to 110. I need to check my answer. What we will make in this case to check my answer? Look with me. We will make that W divided by six. So the weight, I will remove W and put 210. I will remove W and put 210. What we will make in this case? We will put W by this number, 210. If I divide it, 210 divided by six, 210 divided by six, this one is would be equal what? 210 divided by six, it will be equal to that, equal to 35. So the result is 35, like this number, yes? So I check my answer and my answer is right. So if I need to check any answer of any equation, you must make that. Remove the letter and substitute it by the number. Remove the letter and substitute it by the number. Another example. He said that Carla is buying a reform for custom. She wants to divide the reforms into 8.5. Okay? And each one is will be what? Each piece is will be equal 16 customs. Right? And solve the division equation and find the length of the reborn of Carla should buy. Again, Carla buying a reborn for customs. She wants to divide the reborn into 8.5 inch pieces for 16 custom. We need to write the equation by the division method and find the length of the reborn of Carla should buy. Firstly, the first step. Let's represent the length of the ribbon of Carla by R. I will put R to represent the length of the ribbon. So R divided by 8.5 is equal to 16. I will write firstly the equation. Firstly, I will write the equation. So the equation here is, will be what? Look with me. I have here that. R, it means the length of the ribbon. Okay? The length of the ribbon. So R divided by 8.5 is equal to 16. I need to cancel this 8.5. I need to cancel this 8.5. What will make in this case to solving this one? We will multiply the both sides, each side, both sides, each side, multiply by 8.5. So we'll multiply the left hand side and the right hand side by the same number, 8.5. Again, we will multiply right and left by 8.5. This 8.5 and this 8.5 are cancelled together. So I will cancel 8.5. The both of them together. So I have now 16 times 8.5. If I will multiply 16 times 8.5, the result here is equal what? The result here is equal 136. So we will divide it. R over 8.5 is equal to 16. Multiply the right hand side and the left hand side, the both of them by 8.5. This cancel with this. I said this one cancel with this. I have now 16 times 8.5. 16 multiplied by 8.5. So R here is equal 136. Okay, my friend. Now I will give you three minutes to solving page number 500, 
67. Okay, number 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, only. There is five problem and you have five minutes. It's very easy. Take your time. Okay, excellent. I can see the answer in the chat now. Don't sit anywhere. Okay. So, write the answer on the chat. Yes, excellent. Muhammad Al-Anazi. Okay, Talal. Excellent, Talal. Ibrahim. Khalid. Yes, sir. Excellent, my friend. Okay, go ahead. I need extra student. You are excellent, amazing student. Okay. Okay, my friend. So if I look into the answer of the problem now, look with me carefully. Okay, the answer of the first problem is will be what? Okay, excellent. The answer of the first one. Here, number 13. I need the answer of number 13 now. He gives me in number 13. The answer is will be what it will be. A is equal, A equal what? It will be Q, Q is equal, Q is equal. Seven by 12, I will multiply seven by 12. So seven by 12 is equal 84, okay? Number 14, I have that R is equal, R is equal what? Excellent, it will be equal. Two by 18, two by 18 is equal 36, 36, okay? Number 15, what is the solution? Excellent, I have H is equal. What? H is equal, 13 by 13. And 13 by 13 is equal what? It's equal 169. Okay, number 16. Okay, number 16 is equal, J equal 12 by 11. J is equal, what? 12 by 11. You will multiply these two numbers together and find the reason. Okay? Okay, thank you, grade six. You are a fabulous student. Okay, look with me to the next example, please. Look with me to the next example. He said what? He said, read with me carefully. Morgan cut a board into 18 inch long pieces to make a book chalk. Again, Morgan cut a board into 18 inch long pieces to make a board chalk. He made four chalks. He made four chalks. Write and solve the division equation to find the length of the Morgan board. We will imagine the board is will be called by B. We will imagine the length of the board is will be called by B. So this B is will be divided over 18. I will divide this one over 18. How many the number of chalks here? The number of chalks here is will be R4. The number of chalks R4, okay? After that, what will make? I need to cancel this four now. I need to cancel four? No, sorry. I don't need to cancel four. My problem is 18, not four. So what will make in this case? I will multiply the both sides here by 18. So multiply the left-hand side and the right-hand side by 18. We will cancel this 18 with this 18. So B here is will be what? It will be 4 by 18 now. Okay? I will multiply 4 by 18. 4 multiplied by 18, this one is will be equal what? If you multiply these two together, so 4 by 18 is equal to 72. So again, I divided B over 18. B over 18 by this way is equal to 4. I need to cancel 18, multiply the left-hand side by 18 and the right-hand side by 18. So this 18 cancel with this 18. I have four by 18 now, it will be equal to 72. If I need to check my answer, what will make? I will check my answer by this way. Remove B and put 72. So you will remove B and put 72. 72 divided by 18 by this way, the answer is will be what, four. Now I check my answer is right. If you have another answer, you have, check your answer again and check your steps and go step by step. 
Thank you, grade six, for your time. Enjoy your vacation. But firstly, you have a small quiz in SBS website. Try to solve it, please, today, because the ending time for the exam is will be 8 p.m. Okay, and this exam have 10 more. Okay, thank you for your time. Enjoy your vacation. Bye bye.